7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know what I've been told. If you don't watch Daily Bread, then you might get mold. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. What's up everybody? Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. And the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was, <laughs> I don't want to continue that singing, but we are headed back down to Georgia to do it again. And uh, actually, we got about five minutes down the road and my wife called me and told me that I left my protein pancakes on the counter. So we're now headed back to my house real quick and then we're headed to Georgia. Priorities. Pancake priorities. Almost got in a pancake predicament. Batter up. So we talk about meal prepping all the time. You know, I was eating a lot of pizza, a lot of bad food, but now I've made the switch. Tyler's no influenced me in a positive light. Look at this. Look at this. No excuses. No excuses at all anymore. I'm very excited about it. Anytime that you try to do something great, anytime that you try to step outside of your comfort zone, make an impact, provide value, you can rest assured there will be obstacles and you can rest assured there will be struggles. You can rest assured there will be outside influences that come in and try to tear down what you are trying to build up. Now it may sound silly, but for me, this whole Facebook situation was just that. I have put an insane amount of my heart and soul into building a community that was solely based and is solely based on me providing value to you. Then it disappeared. But just like with anything in life, when obstacles arise, opportunities are created. For me, this was an opportunity to spend more time on other platforms. It was an opportunity for me to um, sit back and kind of take inventory on some of the processes that I had put in place and changing and updating all of those and making them way more complicated, like little things like that. And I think it's a, a great life lesson because again, People that are doing things that are insignificant, people that are just strolling through life, um, kind of letting life happen to them, they don't face these types of challenges. They don't face this type of opposition. It's the ones that are trying to do something great, the ones that are trying to make the world a better place. Um, and quite frankly, I see that as an encouragement that I'm probably onto something good, that I'm probably doing the right thing. You almost start warranting these things. You almost start expecting them. Like, of course these types of things are happening. Like that's, that's when the enemy is, is, um, is at the gate, when you're doing something impactful. 
when you're trying to bring light to a dark world. And that's what we're really trying to do. And that's probably the best way to frame it with these flames coming up um, <laughs> in, this, in this screen right now. I just looked at TJ and he smiled when I said that. <laughs> but that's what it is. Like when you're trying to bring light into a dark world, there will be obstacles and there will be opportunities for you to say, ah, maybe we need to take a step back or say, hey, you know what? Maybe we don't need to go so far. I just see it as another opportunity to keep pushing even harder. And so what I can tell you is with this Facebook page coming back that I am more focused than ever. I will provide 10 times the amount of value than I have before and just go 100% back all in and not let anything phase me from the mission that I am on, not let anything phase me on the one thing that I promised to do from day one, uh, which is connect with you and provide you value in the way that you need it, not the way that I need it. And whether that's through Facebook, whether it's now even more through Instagram, now even more through YouTube, or whether it's now by you going to my website so that I have a way to keep in contact with you, regardless of the platform, through email, that's what we're gonna do. That's what I was born to do, and that's what this page is for. That's what this vlog is for. So with that, guys, I just encourage you that when things happen, take a step back and take a look at the situation as a whole and realize that, hmm, that's interesting. Why is this happening? Chances are, it's probably because you're onto something good. Hey.